Join us on this episode as we take the spectacular old Rovers Road to Glen Elg and catch the unique car ferry over to the beautiful Isle of Skye. We've just said goodbye to Aris Egg and our beautiful beach and we're on our way to Skye. Unfortunately we're having to drive back to Fort William to, get the, uh, to go across the Sky Bridge because we can't get the ferry from Malik to have a plan put about a uh, hundred miles on the journey but the way it goes all part of the adventure so we'll catch you when we get to sky see you later hello everyone so we stopped off at fort william uh just to have a look it's beautiful here we're going to turn around and show you in a minute uh we're going to go and get some supplies and then we're heading for sky so I'll turn camera around here we'll let them see really still and it's raining a little bit it's been raining since last night actually it's not stopped all night but it's only it's only light rain isn't it it's yeah, warm we're not, we're not complaining it's actually warm and stuffy isn't it yeah hopefully that'll cheer you up Tess is in a bit of a mood today, aren't you Tess? Throwing herself round like a stroppy teenager. Yeah, no idea why, but she's not in the best of moods, are you? Is it because we've left your beach? Is that what it is? Well, never mind, we'll go and find another one. Okay. All right, good girl. You go and lie down. Good girl. So we've just stopped off here at the very popular Commando Memorial near Speen Bridge. It overlooks the Commando training grounds from World War II and it consists of three bronze statues and was unveiled by the Queen Mother in 1952. So we had a slight change of plan and decided we would get on the Glen Elk Ferry. That's the little turntable ferry that goes across to the Isle of Skye. So it doesn't save you any time because you'd, by the time you've got up to here you're more or less at the uh, Sky Bridge anyway. But we it's decided it would yeah, it? it'd be an experience so we're going to give it a go and it's, the moment it's just left we just missed it. Well I say we missed it, I don't think we'd have got on its full. But it's just sailing across now you can see how it goes sideways because of the current in the channel and he has to hope that he makes it to the ramp on the other side it's he quite he has, to, he has to hope he does because the current's coming can you see how fast that current's going oh, yeah. so it's going sideways you see it oh yeah so he sets off going that way yeah and then, and then as he's going across. across the current takes him over there right well hopefully he gets there well that's what Seems i mean if he if next. he misses the ramp then he's in trouble fantastic it's like he 
he's just about got into the other side I think yeah so if he misses the landing ramp on the other side you'll probably end up in the sea somewhere near the Isle of Rum the passengers will have their arms and legs hanging over the side paddling like mad trying to get onto dry land Glenelg Ferry Borough Doesn't actually have a price on it In fact I don't think it does Oh I see there's a, a price list on the wall here Sky Burr is £12 All the money raised helps to preserve this unique ferry. So I'll see if Valerie wants a sky bear. Glenelg Sky Burr is coming with us. Yeah. He's going to sit on the dashboard and come with us now. Yeah. So there's been a car ferry crossing here for over a hundred years and this is the shortest distance across from the mainland to the Isle of Skye. This particular ferry, the MV Glenna Coolish, was built in 1969 and it can carry up to six cars but it does need a lot of money for maintenance. There's a little cafe up here as well just up on the hill there, just above the uh, slipway where you can go and get a brew and buy merchandise if you like. Table's going round. I can't actually get out because there's, there's just no room whatsoever, it's right up to the railings. So I think it's £20 for a car and it costs £25 to get the camper van over on the ferry. Yeah, it's a nice drive up to the ferry as well, coming from the mainland. This is nice for a change, isn't it, than the bridge? It's a real, I like this. We've not been on bridge for a long while though, because we've always no. got the ferry from Mali. Yeah. This is nice though.
jumping off in a minute, won't it? Here we are, we've landed on Sky. We're about an hour away now from the campsite. We're going to let Tess out for a, a little bit of stretching the legs. I really enjoyed that ferry, it was really nice. I'm really glad that we decided to take it. We were going for, the, going for the bridge and it was like, shall we do ferry instead? And we decided to, I'm really glad. It was such a lovely drive to get to the ferry and then the ferry itself was lovely. Uh, yeah, so we'll go and see if we can find somewhere to let Tess out and we'll catch you when we get to the campsite. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm sure it is. We have been here before. We're just wondering which way we're going. Yeah, it is this way. Yeah. I remember now. So we'll go and get checked in and sort ourselves out, brew ourselves some coffee, and we'll catch you then. Hang on. Oh, there's some little piglets. I don't know if you can see them on camera. Oh, how cute are they? Look at them. Oh, look! Little piggies. Oh. Ooh. Some hens. Not exciting as the little piggies, but still quite cute. Join us next time as we take in some of the sights of the northern coast of the Isle of Skye and we visit a lovely little museum depicting island life for people many years ago.